We are now going to add stock to our solid body. As the name suggests, the workflow ribbon bar is designed to prompt and lead you through the flow of manufacturing operations. We have already experienced the file menu, now it's time to move on to setup. Here you will firstly concern yourself with the creation of raw material, or stock. Having selected Stock Manager, this is the same database as mentioned previously, displayed in green are the valid pieces of stock. Yellow represents stock which has no surplus offsets, and if you decide to select Invalid, these pieces of stock are too small. As you click each item, the display will update. For example's sake, select any of the valid pieces of stock. The stock piece is now loaded. You are allowed to replace this stock. In this instance, we will use the fit stock command. Observe the display message. Fit stock will allow you to create a unique piece of cylindrical stock based on the solid model sizes. The illustration in the dialog box will continue to update as you place values into each field. Furthermore, you can alter the units from metric to inch. I'll set the diameter to four and a quarter inches. In this instance, we'll have 2mm as the face offset and 20mm as the back offset. This is the amount that the chuck will grip on. Once you select OK, the stock is created around the part. It's a good idea to render the stock for better viewing. If you wish to amend the stock sizes, simply double click the stock image and from the resultant dialog box you may now alter the values. In this case, I think I'll decide to alter the colour. Referring back to the previous tutorial, one may now use the component setup dialog box. The stock function is now active, thus allowing you to make the datum relative to the part or to the stock. Let's progress along the ribbon bar to our next stage, which is called Select Machine.